Matt Smith, dude, legend. What's going on? Thanks for talking. Hey, man, how's it going, Brandon? Where are you in the world? Nashville, Tennessee. Dude, I got to go see this but all by myself. They got me a whole theater to watch this, and I thought you were the best part. Dude. You were awesome in it. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Nice one, but that's, that's, that's a cool room you're in as well. Is that your house? Yeah, this is the, this is the man cave. I've got like the balcony up, up front here. This is like the studio man cave ever since, you know, 2020 began. So here really? we are. Uh, maybe we'll have one of you in here someday. I got like all the yeah. Wow, wow, cool. This is this is where it all happens, right? This, this is where, where it all happens. happens. The, the Zoom yeah. magic happens here. Yeah, Dude, I, got, I got to talk to you about this one. I want to hear, uh, like specifically, there are trailers for Morbius that mislead us a bit, and some of those shots that mislead us involve your character. Things look a bit different sometimes. Right. So when you watched the trailers for Morbius for the first time, were you like, oh, those sly dogs? What was your reaction to seeing those things? Um, yeah, I mean, I just thought, well, I'm not really in it very much. I'm not really in the trailers very much. I was like, oh, well, damn, I thought I was in it a bit more. Um, uh, yeah, no, I mean, they, that's, that's what they do, these guys, though, don't they? They sort of set you up and bring you in and, you know, dupe you, dupe you into going, come in, come into the movie theater. Exactly. Well, they did their job, man. Uh, yeah. and, and you get to unleash a villain, which is, I, I don't think I've ever seen you do anything like this before. And it looked like you were just having a ball with it. I mean, you're dancing, you're, you're killing, like you're doing all kinds of madness. Uh, yeah. you know, what were you trying to kind of convey in this transformation your character goes through and was any of it inspired by like research you found from comics or anything like that? Well, I suppose I was, you know, you, you, you're trying to get to the essence or the central idea of something where, someone who's had to live a very difficult physical life suddenly gets the keys to the castle and their body opens up and they feel then like a million bucks and they can fly and they feel all these other sensations, these new things. It's like being reborn, but into the dark side a bit because that's the path he goes down. And I thought that looked really interesting. And, and um, no, no, I, I mean, I, you know, I've, I didn't read loads of comics actually. Um, I, I sort of feel like I wish I had now. I didn't, anyway, it's a different, it's a different conversation, but um <laughs> Yeah, so it was just, the, you know, the, the sort of main Bible comic was the script for me. Of course, that's, that's fair enough. That's a good way to keep it, what your director's looking for and, and do, do your job. Uh, I'm curious to know what the blood on set tasted like, because you and Jared were both kind of really having to like suck down yeah. that blood. You, I like, I think it's just literally like brown sugar and red dye and like all mixed up, something like that. It's something sugary. Like if you're outside and there's bees or wasps, you're screwed because they're like, warm. Um, but it tastes, it, it doesn't taste that bad, actually. It tastes, you know, it tastes all right. It's a good breakfast. It's a good breakfast. I've had worse. Yeah, it's like jam on your toast. <laughs> Did you at any point, like, I know a lot of the stuff is, is visual effects by computers, but did you at any point get fitted for like a kind of vampire facial design prosthetic or was that all of that done after? The uh, not, not for a vampire, but there was stuff that made us thinner on our face at the top of the movie. And they, 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 they sort of added a few prosthetics to there into the hands to make us look a bit weaker. Interesting. That's cool. Now I know last time Jared did a comic book movie, he sent uh say gifts to some of his co-stars yeah. on Suicide Squad. Did you get any bats in the mail? Did you get anything just so he would make sure you knew he was uh, committed? You know, I'm, I, listen, I couldn't possibly comment, comment but I may have. I may have. <laughs> I'm curious. You, you've been a part of so many big franchises that uh, are, are bent on keeping secrets and everybody's always asking questions about them. So whether it's Marvel, Doctor Who, The Crown, Game of yeah. Thrones, any of these worlds, which one is the one that's like, the tightest lift when you're on set and then also gets asked about the most. Oh gosh. I mean, I think when I was making Doctor Who, that felt like I was younger then as well. And it was, you know, th th there were so many sort of episodic storylines that it built up to that you just could not reveal what was going on. And it was that, that I, I remember feeling that well, it was more, I got the part for that, like a nearly six to seven months before it was announced so I had to keep it a secret for like seven months that I was going to be in it. Now people, like, people going like, what are you going to do next? I was like, I don't know, but I knew I was going to play the doctor. So that was, that was probably the, uh, you know, the, the most difficult one to keep. That's funny. And as I had, I, mean, I, just, I do want, I do have to ask you about one of those 
the Game of Thrones prequel series. We all yeah. watched Game of Thrones. Yeah. I would love to hear from you. How much like does knowledge of the original series complement the experience we'll have watching what you guys are doing there? Or is this completely kind of on its own? You can go in like yeah. just knowing that. I mean, you know, it's, yeah, I think it's really different to the original series, to be honest with you. I mean, it has to be. Um, the original series was its own thing and it was, it was so brilliant and, and sort of left the mark in a way that it would be impossible to repeat. Um, so I don't know. The truth is I haven't seen any, so it's difficult for me essentially like it's um, in the same world. It, it sort of, it, it has to ha take on a slightly different identity. Like Who that. knows? I have no idea. Dude, you're talented as hell. It's been fun to follow your, your, your ascent into madness here for Morbius. Oh, thank and, you, my uh, friend. Keep it up, dude. Congratulations. Nice to meet you. Have a good day.